solve the system of equations where x and y are real numbers. How to solve this system of equations? It seems to be not straightforward. But we notice that, if we expand the equations, we will find that, the left hand side of equation 1, has a term xy squared, and the right hand side of equation 2, also has a term xy squared. And the left hand side of equation 2, has a term x squared y, and the right hand side of equation 1, also has a term x squared y. So if we add equation 1 to equation 2, then these terms cancel. This might result in a simpler equation. Now expand the two equations, and then add equation 2 to equation 1, we have xy squared, plus 6x, minus y squared, minus 6, plus x squared y, plus 6y, minus x squared, minus 6, equals x squared y, plus y, plus xy squared, plus x xy squared on the left hand side of the equation, and that on the right hand side of the equation, cancel. x squared y on the left hand side of the equation, and that on the right hand side of the equation, cancel. So we can now write, 6x, minus y squared, minus 6, plus 6y, minus x squared, minus 6, equals y plus x. Simplify and rearrange the equation, we have, x squared, minus 5x, plus y squared, minus 5y, equals negative 12. Now the left hand side of the equation, has x squared, minus 5x, we can complete the square, by adding 5 over 2 all squared, that is, by adding 25 over 4. We can do the same for y squared, minus 5y. So we add 225 over 4, on each side of the equation x squared, minus 5x, plus 25 over 4, equals x minus 5 over 2 all squared. y squared, minus 5y, plus 25 over 4, equals y minus 5 over 2 all squared. negative 12, plus 25 over 2, equals a half. Now we subtract equation 2 from equation 1, we have, xy squared, plus 6x, minus y squared, minus 6, minus x squared y, minus 6y, plus x squared, plus 6, equals x squared y, plus y, minus xy squared, minus x. Negative 6 and 6 on the left side of the equation, cancel. So we can now write, xy squared, plus 6x, minus y squared, minus x squared y, minus 6y, plus x squared, equals x squared y plus y, minus xy squared, minus x. Collect like terms, we have, 2x squared y, plus 7y, minus 2xy squared, minus 7x, minus x squared, plus y squared, equals 0. Rearrange the equation, we can now write, 2x squared y, minus 2xy squared, minus 7x, minus 7y, minus x squared, minus y squared, equals 0. 2x squared y, negative 2xy squared, have a common factor 2xy. And they can be factorized and written as, 2xy times x minus y. 7x minus 7y can be written as, 7 times x minus y. And x squared minus y squared can be written as, x minus y, times x plus y. Now the three terms on the left side of the equation, have a common factor x minus y, so they can be factorized and written as, x minus y, times 2xy, minus 7, minus x, minus y. So either x minus y equals 0, or 2xy, minus 7, minus x, minus y, equals 0. Case 1. x minus y equals 0. We have a system of equations, x minus 5 over 2 all squared plus y minus 5 over 2 all squared, equals a half. That is equation 3. And x equals y. Substitute y equals x in equation 3, we have, x minus 5 over 2 all squared, equals a quarter. So x minus 5 over 2, equals plus or minus a half. x equals 2 or x equals 3. So xy equal 2 2, or 3 3. Case 2. 
2xy, minus 7, minus x, minus y, equals 0. Divide the equation by 2, and rearrange the equation, we have, xy, minus x over 2, minus y over 2, equals 7 over 2. Add a quarter to both sides of the equation, so that we can factorize the left-hand side of the equation. xy, minus x over 2, minus y over 2, plus a quarter, can be factorized and written as, x minus a half, times y minus a half. 7 over 2, plus a quarter, equals 15 over 4. Now we have a system of equations, x minus 5 over 2 all squared, plus y minus 5 over 2 all squared, equals a half. That is equation 3. And x minus a half, times y minus a half, equals 15 over 4. Solving this system of equations seems to be not straightforward. We will solve it by using the substitution method. As the equations contain x minus 5 over 2, x minus a half, y minus 5 over 2, and y minus a half. So we let a equal x minus 5 over 2, and b equal y minus 5 over 2. Then equation 3 can be written as, a squared, plus b squared, equals a half. And equation 6 can be written as, a plus 2, times b plus 2, equals 15 over 4. Expand and rearrange equation 8, we have, a b, plus 2a, plus 2b, equals negative a quarter. Equation 7, plus 2 times equation 9, we have, a squared, plus b squared, plus 2ab, plus 4a, plus 4b, equals 0. a squared, plus b squared, plus 2ab, can be written as, a plus b all squared. 4a plus 4b, can be written as, 4 times a plus b. The two terms have a common factor a plus b, so they can be factorized and written as, a plus b, times a plus b plus 4. So either a plus b equals 0, or a plus b equals negative 4. For a plus b equals 0. From equation 7, we have, a squared, equals a quarter. So a equals plus or minus a half. And b equals minus or plus a half. Note that, a equal x minus 5 over 2, and b equal y minus 5 over 2. So x equals a plus 5 over 2, and y equals b plus 5 over 2. So xy equal 3 2, or 2 3. For a plus b equals negative 4. From equation 7, we have, a squared, plus negative a minus 4 all squared, equals a half. Simplify the equation, we have, 2a squared, plus 8a, plus 31 over 2, equals 0. Multiply the equation by 2, we have, 4a squared, plus 16a, plus 31, equals 0. The discriminate of this quadratic equation is equal to, 16 squared minus 4 times 4, times 31, which is less than 0. So the equation has no real solutions. In summary, there are four sets of solutions. xy equal 2 2, 3 3, 3 2, 2 3.